So if you haven't heard the news by now, Atom has released a plugin called Vertical, which allows you to stream, record, and clip your vertical video all within a single instance of OBS. And since you're watching this video, I'm guessing you know that already, but you want to know how to set it up. So I'm going to take you through the process of downloading, installing, and using it within OBS. I'm also going to show you a few ways you can make this plugin even more powerful if you use the Atom app. I'm going to put some chapter markers in this video so you can skip to the part that pertains to you. But if you want to watch the full video, I would really appreciate it. And before we get into it, I want to mention that I don't have any sponsors for this video. So if you'd like to support me, you can join my Patreon or maybe pick up some merch. Either one of those things helps me out a great deal. I'll have links for those in the video description below if you'd like to support me. OK, let's install the vertical plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Atom.tv where you'll see the vertical plugin in the menu at the top of the screen. When you click on this, it says Atom vertical plugin for OBS 29. So please make sure before you do do anything else that your OBS is upgraded to version 29. And let's click free download. Once you click the executable, you'll see this setup window up here where it says ready to install. Just click install. At this point, you may need to relaunch OBS if you've had it open, but if not, you should see the vertical plugin the next time you launch OBS. All right, so as you can see, we have a few new things to look at here in OBS. The first two that I want to point out are the vertical scenes and sources, which are going to be down right here. This is where you're going to start building for streaming and or recording in vertical format. And then right here is your vertical preview window. All right, so let's just take a look at this vertical plugin for a second. Across the bottom, you're going to see the start streaming vertical button. In the middle is going to be the record vertical button. And to the right of that is your backtrack clipping button. So from left to right, stream, record, clip. And to the far right, we have our cogwheel where we can dive into the settings. At the top of the general tab, we have our resolution, which can either be 1080 by 1920 or 720 by 1280. For me, the video bit rate shows up as 200 kilobits per second by default. That is going to be probably way too low. So I'm going to bump this up to about 6,000. That's just not enough bitrate for a smooth video. Audio bitrate, you can leave at 160 for now. All right, so at the bottom of the general tab is where we have our backtrack settings. Backtrack is going to be your vertical clipping tool. And then set your backtrack recording path wherever you want your vertical video to save to. I just set up a folder on Google Drive called Vertical Clips, so that's where I will be sending my backtrack recording path. And the final bit here is for the backtrack hotkey. I'm not going to set up a hotkey right now because I'm going to use a rule within the Atom app itself to trigger my clips. So if you want to see how that's done, I will be showing that in the video a little bit later. If you're not going to be using Atom or another stream bot that works with this plugin, go ahead and set up a hotkey. So the next tab is for streaming. This one is pretty straightforward. You're going to enter your server and stream key information, and you can also set hotkeys for starting and stopping the stream. The next tab is for recording, and it is also pretty straightforward. You're going to set a recording path, and this does not have to be the same path that you use for the backtrack feature. I created a different folder called vertical VOD that I'm going to be using in this path. And again, you can set hotkeys for starting and stopping recording. I don't play a whole lot of games anymore, but let's start off by building a basic gaming scene. So on my gaming scene, I have more of a vertical camera that sits off to the right of the gameplay, but I don't think that's going to translate too well to a vertical canvas. So let's make some adjustments. So under vertical scenes, I'm going to click the plus icon to create a new gaming scene. And we're just going to call this gaming vertical. And keep in mind that this scene does need to be different from your horizontal scene name. OK, so with my scene created, we have to put some sources in here now. Let me go ahead and get the gameplay in here first. All right, I've got my game source set, so now I'm going to add my camera. OK, so on my vertical gaming scene, I've decided on more of a full screen approach for the game, and I'm going to just keep my own camera up in more of a rectangular format up at the top of the screen. And what's nice about having the vertical and horizontal scenes and sources separate is that you don't have to have your Twitch alerts come through your TikTok because nobody in your TikTok chat really cares about what's happening on Twitch. So if you use something like Tickfinity, you can now add those alerts to this vertical scene. If you don't know what Tickfinity is and you're interested in having TikTok specific alerts, I have a YouTube short that explains that. I will link it in the description below. I'm also going to add in my image rotator, which will allow me to self promo on TikTok. All right, I think that scene's looking pretty good. Let's build a just chatting scene. My just chatting scene is pretty basic, but I do have multiple cameras that I like to use. So maybe I can incorporate that more into my vertical scenes. So I'm going to add my main camera in here. This part is entirely subjective, so build it out however you see fit. I'm just going to make this work for me. OK, so this is what I've come up with for my just chatting scene. It's not too busy, but it does use a whole other camera so you can get kind of the whole room shot here. I think that's kind of cool and interesting, so I'm going to roll with it. And I've created a small section between the two cameras to show off a little branding. So now that we have our vertical scene set up, we can actually link these to their horizontal counterparts. So when you change scenes on Twitch, it will also change your scene on TikTok. To do this, just right click on your vertical scene and hit linked scenes. And then we'll do the same thing for our gaming scene. OK, so now that our scenes are linked, I'm going to change from just chatting to gaming and one changes along with the other. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to set up the rule in Atom, but I'm going to be also making a TikTok at the same time because efficiency. So let's go ahead and start recording our vertical video here. I will not only show you how to easily create a backtrack clip using the Atom app and the Elgato Stream Deck, 
but also how to have your mods create these clips for you as well. In the Atom app, we're going to click Add Rule, and I'm going to name this Stream Deck Backtrack. Under Actions, click New Action, select Device, and choose OBS. Under Action Type, scroll down and select Vertical Save Backtrack. Click Create. On the Stream Deck app, we're going to look for the Atom plugin, and we're going to drag Trigger Rule onto a button. I'm going to give this the title of Backtrack and assign the Atom rule that I just built. Now that that's done, let's set up a rule for your moderators. In Atom, click Add Rule, and I'm going to name this Mod Backtrack. Add a new trigger where the device is Twitch, the trigger type is Chat Message, and under Chat Message, enter the command you want your mods to use. In this case, I chose exclamation backtrack. If you only wanted one mod to do this, you could enter their Twitch name into the chatter box. But since we want any mod to be able to do this, we're going to add a new data check. Give it a type of get user info. Click the cog wheel and select variable. From the dropdown, select Twitch username. Under action, select if else. In the variable dropdown, select get user info is moderator. Make sure the value is set to true. And now we're going to set up the same action we did before for our Stream Deck button. Device should be OBS and action type of vertical save backtrack. Click create and save. And that's all there is to it. Your life just got simpler and your mods just got more powerful. I did not think this through. Now go find out what else you can do at Atom.tv. All right, so I just filmed a TikTok within the filming of a YouTube video. That's a first for me, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Please do follow me on all the socials or visit CodyRoofs.com. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'll I'll see you next time. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other and I'll see you soon.